Hello and welcome to this video, my name is ActiQ and today I want to talk about the things that Jagex make to keep us playing RuneScape, some of which I find pretty good things and some of which I don't like so much. And on the background of this video you will just see me running around in Yubiusk trying to get the Bandosian memories because it's a new addition to the completionist gate requirements. So this brings me to the first point of this video which is achievements and I think achievements such as the completionist cape which is a dynamic achievement that you have to keep getting back is a great way to keep the old veteran players playing runescape because they always want to come back to runescape to get their completionist cape back. And there are also other kinds of achievements in runescape so people have personal achievements such as getting the farming cape for example and those kinds of achievements at least make people come back because if they started the road to 1 to 99 they usually remember it at least at some point that they had such a goal and they feel the need to finish it and after you have finished 1 to 99 you feel like oh that was not too much and then you start another goal and because you had another goal again to 1 to 99 maybe or maybe the max cape this time then you always keep coming back so i think achievements is one way to keep people coming to runescape and that's one of the things that make people actually play the mmorpg genre in general so achievements is definitely one way to keep runescape players motivated and coming back to the game and i think this is one of the best ways to keep people playing the game because to make people stay you have to provide new and proper content to the game so the game is constantly evolving so the constant evolution of achievements and the constant evolution of the game actually keeps people motivated so i'm very happy that jackx is providing us with new achievements because i know that i would myself get extremely bored of the game if there weren't any new updates. But I feel that sometimes Jagex keeps hyping the updates so much that the actual update isn't the thing that's keeping people playing but sometimes it's just the hype of the new update. So for example you have something like the Dungeoneering update which was decent, I don't really complain about it, but it was hyped so much and so long time and it turned out to be semi-anticlimactic, but I'm sure that many people that love Dungeoneering stayed at Thronescape because they wanted to see the new addition to the Dungeoneering skill. So building up anticipation and coming up with new updates and informing us in advance can also make us stay at Runescape, but sometimes it goes a bit too far in my opinion. Especially if the update doesn't meet up with the hype at all. Another thing that Jagex does to keep us playing is provide us with daily repeatable content and things like warbands, sinkholes, daily challenge, daily spins, those are things that keep people staying in the game and coming back to the game at least for the daily things. And I find that the daily things should be really condensed and they should be at maximum 1 to 2 hours and sometimes when we have things like the, for example the Lumbridge Battlefield in the World Event 1 the daily things are just a bit too much. So the daily things are one thing that Jagex do to keep us playing but sometimes they use it a bit wrong in my opinion. Because if all the meaningful daily things take too long a time then people especially myself can become a little bit demotivated to log in at all. And lastly we get to the most shady area of keeping us playing runescape and this is promotions. So this is things like free spins, cheaper membership, double XP weekend, special months with more daily challenges that give you more daily XP and so on and so forth. And this is the part that I disagree with most because I find that RuneScape is a game that people should enjoy as it is and if the only way to keep players motivated to play RuneScape is to give them shitloads of free XP then maybe Jagex should think about providing us with some content that would be interesting for the players rather than just giving us free handouts. So I think promotions are the one thing that Jagex do when they need more money or they want more money, I don't know if they need more money, and they can't come up with a new update because of their resources. Because making promotions like free XP, like Mad May or Double XP Weekend or something like that, that's really cheap. You need like 
by one person or maybe two people at Jagex doing a job and then you can make a double XP weekend happen. And that's opposed to maybe hundreds of people working on a new quest. And when you combine all these ways of keeping us playing RuneScape, you get the summer 2014. So we have the free daily necklace that gives us 30k free bonus XP. We have the weekly aura that gives us double XP. Then we have the anticipation for the elf city and possibly a stack of new achievements that we get with the elf city. And on top of this you also have the discount of 25% for the 3 months membership. So Jagex is trying with full force to keep us all playing RuneScape and there is never going to be a good time to take a break from RuneScape if you care about the updates. So if you need to take a break from RuneScape just go and do it and don't wait for a better time because there is not going to be a better time and this is the strategy that Jagex has been doing for a while now. And it has its upsides and downsides but at least the game is staying pretty alive because of this. But if you have any thoughts on this idea you can just leave them to the comments of this video and we can discuss this. But other than that I thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.